Chris Bell, you should not have come here. I wish you no harm personally. Kay. I'm sorry, Chris Bell. I am now in full possession of my faculties. Ardo is in the right. Thousands of years ago, I was created by the Rena. Their memories live on in me. The Rena were a peaceful people. Artists, scientists, thinkers. When the humans came, the Rena hoped to share their knowledge freely, to elevate the entire human race. The humans repaid this kindness with treachery. The Rena had power, knowledge, and the humans wanted it for their own. They attacked, slaughtering the Rena. Our pleas for mercy went unanswered. Kay. You know it is true, Crispell. Look at your own brief history. War, conquest, destruction. This is the nature of humans. The Rena are the rightful heirs to this world, and they will rise once more. It is only right. Seems I have been defeated. Go ahead. Please. Finish this. It is fitting, I suppose, to die at the hands of a human. No! How could... I would never kill you! You're our friend! You're right. There's war and destruction. All of it. I can't change everything that's happened in the past. With your help, though, we can make the future a better place. I need you to help us create that future. I can't change what happened to the Rena. I can't deny it was horrible. But you know us. You know me. You know not all humans are like that. We aren't like that. Whatever happened in the past, this has to end. Repaying slaughter with more slaughter solves nothing. There is no other way. There must be. This is... 
isn't who you are! No? Are you so sure of that, Crispel? Yes! Please, Kay! You're not some mindless drone! You're kind, smart, curious. You see the world in a way none of us can even imagine. You've taught us so much. Please, come back. You don't have to fight. We miss you. I miss you. Then what am I, Chris Bell? Tell me! I can't remember! Don't you see? Humans stole that from me as well! I can't! That's not true! You do have memories! You do! You made them with us! Together! Your experiences will shape the person you are to become. What do you propose? I don't... I don't know yet. But we'll figure something out. We'll find a way. Together! I have spent thousands of years trying to comprehend my existence. My reason for being. Were I to spend tens of thousands more, Crispel, I fear I would never understand you humans. I think, though, I would like to try. Very well. I shall accompany you, if for no other reason, to see for myself what kind of future you create. Wait, Chris Bell, aren't you forgetting? One of the generators. Another one. We're getting closer to getting that barrier down. Quickly, deactivate it. Hmm. Guess we should. Seems the generator is off. Welcome, welcome! We have the... Welcome, wel...
Thank you for seeing me. I am honored to stand before you today. State your name and purpose, please, for the record. I am Nassar. My function is enlightenment, creation, research, development, advancement of thought and action. In what areas? Variable and unbounded. My current focus is on defense research and advancement. So, what have you brought us today? This sword, a tool for enhancing the powers of our time mages. It is currently in the prototype phase of development. That's certainly interesting. Tell us more. Why the obsession with time mages? They hardly seem worthy of so much of your attention. Perhaps. The humans, their interactions with the crystals, with our machinery, time itself. It's fascinating in its complexity. So, why the focus on them? My assignment is the defense of the Rena. These humans are making advancements in ways I could not have predicted. It merits study. That said, it is not the area upon which I would choose to focus. No? No. In particular, I would like to work on the Time Displacer project. Interesting. Why is that? We are a peaceful people. War is never the path to enlightenment. I would rather work on something that is likely to benefit society. 
Additionally, if the Rena are forced into conflict, I suspect time itself may be the weapon that threatens us all. I see. Thank you for sharing that with me, Nassar. Perhaps you're right. Nassar, hurry! The humans are attacking! We have to run! Defenses are coming online now. Weapons are being distributed as we speak. There's no time! You have to go! Incorrect. Now that the defenses are activated, I shall head out to assist in the defense. You can't, Nassar! They'll kill you, too! Perhaps, but I must. It is my duty. I'm sorry, Nassar. I can't let you do that. The Armory Blast Door! What have you done? Let me out! I must defend the Rena! Let me out! 
Let me... out. Chris Bell, what do I want to record our pro- So, little thief, now you know my great shame. When the Rena were being attacked, I could not defend them. Now, I live to carry on their legacy. In the past, I could only watch as the Rena were slaughtered. I was helpless. Unable to fight alongside my masters against the human hordes. This time is different.
Defeated. Again. Of what use am I if I cannot defend the ones I am sworn to protect against our enemies? What purpose do I serve? Nassar, we are not your enemy! You would prevent the resurrection of the Rena. That makes you my enemy. No! I'm just trying to stop this world from being destroyed! The two are one and the same. They don't have to be. Please, give me a chance to prove it. How? What would you do differently? War is never the path to enlightenment. You said that. That was long ago. But that's your purpose, isn't it? Enlightenment? Creation? That hasn't changed. That is the purpose given by my creators. It has not changed as they were all murdered. I know, and I can't begin to understand how horrible it was. But you were made to build, not to destroy. Let me try. What is it you propose? I don't know. Not yet. Please, just give me some time. If I fail, we're all doomed anyway. You have nothing to lose. Perhaps. Regardless, I am not strong enough to stop you. Do as you will.
One of the gen- Another one! Forget quickly! Mm. Seems the generator- I think it's done. Let's return to Audrey. Checking. Looks good so far. Yes! The barrier should be down! Should be? It's advanced technology from 3,000 years ago. Should be is the best I can do. Good enough for me. Now we can finally go confront Ardo. Come on. We have to stop him before it's too late. The door is to the right. Let's enter. Crispel? How did you get in here? Don't tell me you managed to disable all the generators. Mati... Ardo... We need to talk. The time for that is long past, I'm afraid. And... JKR... Is that you? It is. What are you doing here? That is a question I have asked myself often over the millennia. Now, however, is not the time to discuss it. You must listen to Chris Bellardo. She does not wish to cause any more harm to you. There is nothing to discuss. The resurrection of my people is at hand. Now, however, it is being delayed by you lot. I generally prefer not to get my hands dirty with this sort of thing, but it appears I'll have to make an exception.
No. Is this really how it ends? Matthias, Ardo, please, listen to me. You want to save the Rena. I do too. I just don't want to sacrifice this whole world to do it. There is no other way. When we make the jump, that world will merge into this one and override it. You once sent me back in time to stop the Empress, and I merged with the Crispel of that timeline. Exactly. Just as I intended. But when the Empress went back in time, she didn't merge. She survived as a separate being. It created two of us. Two Crispels. Obviously. She jumped too far back to succeed. The differences between you two over such a long period were far too significant. But you're trying to move an entire world over 3,000 years through time. How can you think it's still going to merge? Things are different on a planetary scale. With an object this large, there's a much greater range before the desynchronization would cause an issue. So, if what you're saying is true... If we move the whole Rena civilization far enough into the future, instead of it overriding the existing planet, it would create a new one? Theoretically, perhaps. As I said, though, at that scale, the difference in time would have to be enormous. We can barely control the amount of time energy that's required already. At that scale... What if you had the most powerful time mage in history helping you control that power? You expect me to trust my mortal enemy with the fate of my people? Someone I've fought for thousands of years? No! Forget who we were! Forget the different versions of her, of me, of yourself! Who we are now, that's what matters. You and I, all the time we spent together, the joy, the sorrow, the adventure. It wasn't fake, Matthias, or Ardo, or whatever name you want to go by now. Our friendship was real. I am not your enemy. How could I be? You want proof that humans and Rena can coexist? We're the proof. We've done so much together. Why throw it away now? Please, Matthias. Won't you please believe in me? I... <sighs> no. It's too much. The amount of energy required is more than any one person can handle. It's impossible. Even for you, Chris Bell. I've done a lot of impossible things recently. Wouldn't you agree? Additionally, if she dies in the attempt, you will have been proven correct. Thank you, JKR. I suppose there is that. While I still believe this to be a fool's errand, it is theoretically possible. I'll trust you to surprise me, Chris Bell. For old time's sake. The preparations are complete. Let us begin. It's working. Keep it up, Chris Bell. Keep going! What's... what's happening? Oh, no, no, no! There's too much power! It's getting out of control! We have to stop this! We're going to fail! No, we're not! I made you a promise! What happened? Where did she go? Where is Chris Bell? She... She did it. I can't believe it. She sacrificed herself to complete the jump. No! 
Tell me what happened! She said she was going to be okay! It appears she was incorrect. All that power flowing through her. It's as I said. No one could have survived it. No! She was a remarkable woman. It's hard for me to believe it. Now, after so many cycles, this is how our story ends. I know Kari, and I will never forget her. I'll tell everyone about her, how she saved the whole world. I wonder if that's how religions start. We'll need to come up with a cool name, maybe matching uniforms? Later, Zaz. No. I suppose the only thing that remains is to rejoin my people in this new future. Buki, JKR, Nassar, Paulina. It was your home, too. You are all welcome to join me. The little ones. I can return to care for them? I can go back to my research. I believe I will stay here. This world holds many memories for me and many questions I wish to answer. Me too. I consider myself fashion forward, but that's a bit too far forward. Besides, look at them. Humans need my help more than the Rinna ever did. As you wish. Please take care, all of you. actually did it. I'm... home. I'm finally home. I'll... No. It can't be. It's... It's you.